if you actually want to buy a property purely for investment today, which is a better option, new sale or resale? So I'm actually going to dive deep into one of the projects. So I'm actually using Jaden. So given that he has the most number of transaction, Jaden uh, as a reference point, uh, okay, to actually compare whether you know new sale, resale, which is actually better investment opportunity right now. So of course, uh, if you actually go by the map, uh, in terms of uh, locality, uh, comparable project is J Gateway, uh, J Gateway Condo. So just to orientate you guys a bit, this is the Jurong East MRT station. Uh, so Jam is here, as you can see. So Westgate is here. So J Gateway Condo is just right here. And Jaden is down here. Lah. So you can see that it's actually within very close proximity to Jurong East MRT station. So of course, Jaden is the new launch and J Gateway is the resale project that I actually use for comparison today. I actually took the transacted prices for past one year for comparison. Lah. So J Gateway is the resale. Okay, so down here, I actually dive into be quite specific, uh, quite specific as you can see here. I actually only look at a uh, property of about the same square feet. Uh, okay, within the project. Uh. So like for example, this one is about 900 uh, square feet. Uh. So J Gateway, the resale one, 99 years. Uh, average per square feet, as you can see, 927. And the average price is about 1887. Uh. Whereas for Jaden, the new one, the new launch, so average area 98 now, and they're actually selling 2458. So J Gateway, J Gateway, if you actually talk about those uh, smaller units, uh, these are likely to be studio units or uh, one bader. The resale one, okay, average price per square feet is about 1933. Whereas the Jaden, the new sale, uh, is uh, the average PSF price is actually 2510. So if you actually do the sums, okay, you take the difference. Okay, if today, if you're actually going to buy a new launch in Jurong, you are actually paying about 30% premium. 30% premium to the closest competitor. So the question here is this, uh, is it worth it? You know, from an investment perspective, does it still make sense? Uh, that's the question I'm actually trying to answer today. How I try to compare or try to make sense of this number here is this. So of course, if let's say from a purely investment perspective, I'm bad to make profit. So let's say, let's say I target 20% profit, 20% return. So basically, if J Gateway, I buy at 1887. I actually need to sell 2264, okay, to make a 20% gain. Whereas for Jaden, Jaden, if I actually want to make a 20% gain, I actually buy at 2458. I need to sell at 2949. Okay, so my point here is this. Uh, is it possible for me to sell at 2264? No, I think it's likely why, again, uh, based on the principle that today, uh, today uh, we already have people uh, who are willing to spend about 2458 to buy properties in that area. Okay, so five years later, when things have inflated, of course, inflation is going to continue. Five years later, uh, I actually want to look for people who are willing to pay only 2264. Can I find out? Okay, so uh, based on this theory, of course, it's just a theory. Uh, but I think based on this theory, yes, uh, I can find because today I really can find people who, who is willing, who is actually afford to pay 2458 for project in this area. Using this line of thought, nah, so the question here is this, am I able to find people who are willing to pay 2949? five years later, to buy a project in Jurong, uh, District 22. So basically spend about $3,000 per square feet to actually buy a resale property in uh, Jurong, District 22, five years later. Can I find such people or not? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> but it's definitely not tested. Lah. So today, anyone actually spend about $3,000 per square feet to buy a project in uh, Jurong? Answer is no. It's not tested. Unlike, like, for example, the first case, can I find 22? Yes, today, there are people like that. But today, do we have people? So answer is no. 
Okay, it doesn't mean that I cannot sell 294 now. It's just that it's not, that's not, not proven now. The point I'm trying to drive at here is this, okay? The question here is asking, uh, can I find a buyer to pay for this price fast later? For J Gateway, uh, I'm actually quite confident based on the fact that today, uh, there are already such people who are willing to pay that price. Whereas, you know, 2949, I, I don't know. Okay, it's not tested. I'm not saying that it uh, it cannot find, but it's actually not tested, not tested. Uh, so this is uh, one way for me to compare to see whether, hey, you know, which is a better buy from an investment, pure investment perspective. So if let's say we actually talk about uh, capital gain perspective, uh, uh, in terms of the quantum. Uh, now what I'm actually comparing here is this. Uh, let's say I just want to make $500. Okay, once the project price per square feet increased by $500, I'm willing to sell. Uh. So if I am actually buying at 2476, okay, and increased by $500, okay, property price increased by $5 per square feet, uh, is only a 20% increase. Uh. It's only a 20% increase. So compared to, let's say, for example, I buy something cheaper. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, Lakefront Residence. Okay, today I'm buying at one five seven two. Uh, okay, almost one thousand dollar cheaper. And if I can actually sell at a five dollars per square feet profit, my gain is actually thirty one point eight percent. If let's say all we target is a five hundred dollars per square feet. A profit, if you're paying at a smaller quantum, of course, your return is actually going to be higher. And having said that, so uh, what about in terms of probability? So same theory as before, you know, 2476, if I want a front doors increase, I'm actually selling 29. Again, it's not tested. But if I buy Lake Front Residence today, I'm paying about 1572. I want to set 2,000. Is it possible or not? Okay. So based on can we find people with $2,000 uh, per square feet budget? Uh, I think it's more likely. Lah. Okay. Of course, you can argue that, yeah, you know, uh, 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 J Jaden is definitely in a better location. Uh, you're talking about Jurong, next to Jurong East MRT station with all the perks and so forth. Uh, and Lakefront residents, uh, is actually, you know, location-wise, it's actually not as good. Uh, but hey, come, you know, how bad can it be? This is Singapore, it's so small. Uh, Lakefront Residence is also very near to an MRT station, uh, Lakeside MRT station. Okay, it's not like it's out of nowhere. Two MRT stops away, you're talking about a price difference, about $1,000 uh, per square feet. Uh, and if you ask me, a probability of increasing 500, I think, I think Lakefront Residence has a higher probability. Uh. Okay, of course, I could be wrong. Okay, but I believe has a higher probability. Okay, so even both of them increase by 500. Nah, I think Lakefront Residence is actually a better buy okay, because uh, in terms of percentage increase per quantum, okay, uh, it's actually higher. So what I'm trying to say here is this. Uh, if let's say we talk about new sale versus resale okay, from a pure investment perspective, if we just measure by risk return, nah, okay, which one has a probability of um, getting that return versus the risk involved. Huh? I think resale seems to be a better option. Okay, But please don't get me wrong. Uh, it doesn't mean that the new sales cannot make money. But if you actually just measure in terms of uh, which one is higher risk. Okay, of course, I think new sales have higher risk. Which one can probably better return? I think resale can make better return. Uh, resale property is actually makes more sense. Uh. But then, doesn't mean that new sales cannot make money, yeah?